President Obama and Mitt Romney hold their third and final debate tonight in Boca Raton, Florida. The focus, foreign affairs. The only thing definitive is confusion about how this will end. Gallup has Romney up nationally by seven points. Investors Business Daily has Obama up by six. And NBC News Wall Street Journal has it tied. It's a very tight race. It's a competitive race. We always knew it was going to be in this place uh, in the sense that it's coming down to a few states and a few votes. And just as the polls are all over the map, so too will be tonight's debate all over the international map focused on foreign policy and explosive stories about global hotspots. And a lot of new information coming out over the weekend, including that report in the New York Times, now denied by both the U.S. and Iran, that direct talks between the U.S. and Iran could be coming soon. Well, there were a lot of denials over the weekend, but you notice the New York Times didn't take that story out of the paper. There's clearly something going on diplomatically, and anything that's going on diplomatically right now can probably help the president. It also leaves you a very simple question to Mitt Romney. If there were a po if there was a possibility for face-to-face -face negotiations, one-on-one, -on -one, would you do that or risk another war in the Middle and East? And his surrogates were out yesterday seemed to come down on both sides of the question. Which has happened quite frequently during this campaign. Yeah, all these polls seem to be converging on a dead-even race, which is makes which why the moments like tonight, this debate, debate tonight, so so important. It's these moments that we've seen really change the dynamics of this race more than anything else, and it makes it really important. I think for the president, I think at a, tonight's test is much more of a commander-in-chief, strong leader test, and I think that's why the dynamics of Iran and all those other things fit right into that mold, and that I think makes it really important. And and Mitt Romney and foreign policy, I'm actually surprised they agree to do a foreign policy debate for the very last debate.